Hey guys! Time for chapter 12 of Sir Fartalot Hunts the Booger. Alright, so let's see what happens to poor old Sir Fartalot who's about to get swallowed by a dragon. Daisy! came a voice. The dragon froze. Its ears drooped. Bad dragon! A girl appeared at the far side of the clearing. She wagged a finger at the mighty fire lizard. Drop it! She commanded. The beast bowed its head with a guilty hang, hang dragon look. Its jaws slackened just enough <coughs> that Sir Fartalot was able to poke out of the side of its mouth. All right, you, all right, you overgrown newt. The old knight fumed. You leave me no choice but. Oh, hello, he said. Noticing the girl, you must be one of the princesses. Have no fear, fair princess. We are here to rescue you. Rescue me? Said the girl, who was indeed as fair and lovely as a princess, though more practically attired in a woodsman's green tights and leather jerkin. That's right, from this dragon. You mean Daisy? The girl laughed. Oh, she's harmless. A little playful, maybe. You mean to say, Sir Cedric butted in, that this dragon is not holding you encapsulated? Oh, no, said the princess. She's domesticated. Whether or not she's able to bear children is irreverent, milady, said Sir Cedric. The point is, we were given to understand that this dragon was holding some princesses captivated in some castle or other somewhere around here. Well, my sisters and I live in a castle back there, the girl said, pointing over her shoulder. But nobody's holding anybody captive. Daisy is my pet. Aren't you, girl? The princess petted the dragon's scaly knee. Your pet? Sir Cedric said. Well, I'll be flamed. Be that as it may, my dear princess, Sir Fartalot said, still wedged between Daisy's back molars. Nevertheless, if your dragon does not unhand me at once, I think you mean unmouth you, Harry corrected. Er, uh, right. Well, as I was saying, I shall have no choice but to unleash the rat off. Lucille, said the girl. So I heard. Fine, have it your way. And in a stern voice she commanded, Daisy, drop it. So I'm going to show you the picture of the girl talking to her pet Daisy with her farts a lot sticking out of her mouth. Oh, good gracious. The dragon let its lower jaw go slack and Sir Fartalot fell on his head with a clonk. Harry and Sir Cedric helped him to his feet. Sir Fartalot, dripping with dragon slobber, introduced himself and his companions. The girl's name was Gwendolyn and she was indeed a princess, though not the type to go making a big to-do about it. She told them she lived in a nearby castle with her sisters, Princess Guinevere, Princess Gwyneth, Princess Guizelda, and so many other princesses, Harry and the knights soon lost track of names. "'Tis lucky you arrived when you did, fair princess,' Sir Fartalot said. "'For a few moments later, I fear I would have made dragon nuggets out of this over-frisky pet of yours.'" At this, Daisy the dragon leaned forward and licked Sir Fartalot face with a wet slurpy dragon kiss. Princess Gwendolyn invited Harry and the knights back to her castle for lunch. But I should warn you about my sister. About my sisters, she said. You never saw such a silly bunch of princesses. So as we've been working on summarizing, I'm going to summarize chapter 12. At the beginning of chapter 12, we find that the dragon is not actually a wild beast. It is a domesticated pet. In the middle of the chapter, we find that this dragon belongs to a princess, Gwendolyn. 
and that she is Gwendolyn's, Princess Gwendolyn's pet, and that she lives in a castle with a whole bunch of her sisters that all, all of their names that we heard started with the GW sound, the Gwa. And at the end of chapter 12, we find that she has invited Harry and the Knights, Princess Gwendolyn has invited Harry and the Knights to go have lunch with them. Um, not only after, of course, um, Daisy the dragon kisses Sir Farts a lot by licking him in the face. Awesome. So I was not expecting that. I was like, what? Totally threw me for a loop. I thought that she was gonna, that the dragon was gonna swallow Sir Farts a lot and he was gonna like fight his way out or something. I mean, I was just not a, just blindsided me on that one. I wonder if it did you too. All right, well, I will see you guys next time. I hope you have a good rest of your day. I love you and I miss you, and I really hope that you're enjoying our story. See you later. Bye.